Okay, so now you've installed your pump and you've still got some issues. It's not working 100% as you would expect it to. What would you do then? There's a couple of things you have to check in, in a case like that. First of all, does the pump have water? So are all your valves open? Um, getting water into the pump and then delivering it to your house. Are the valves open to your house? Um, that would also cause the pump not to start because if there's no movement of water or no pressure loss um, that the pump can sense, then your pump will not switch on. The other very, very important but very basic thing to look at is, is your pump uh, plugged in? Is there power on the, uh, on the pump? If the pump is running and there's no water coming out, there's a couple of things that you can check. First of all, is water flowing into the pump? So in other words, is there any restriction? Um, or is your tank empty? Um, is there water coming into the pump? The pump cannot transfer water that it's not receiving. Are all your valves open? So in other words, your inlet valve to the pump, is that open? Your outlet valve to your house, is that open? Make sure that there's no restrictions. Another thing that could be looked at is, are there any bursts in the pipeline? So has a pipeline burst? In other words, that's where your water would flow out. So now it's not getting to its end point. The next thing we will check is, is the inlet and the outlet connected uh, correctly? This is the inlet to your pump, that is the outlet to your pump. So if you switch the two around, you're going to be drawing water out of your system instead of pumping it into your system. Another very, very common problem is your non-return valve. Now, you will see there is an arrow on your non-return valve. Um, that is the direction of water flow. Okay, so if your non-return valve is installed the wrong way around, it's not going to draw water. Once you've checked all the aforementioned and everything is open, everything is working, there's a very strong possibility, especially with new installations, that you have an air lock in your pipeline. Um, so that's basically air getting in. Now that is a restriction on its own. In order to get air out of your system, all Pascali pumps come with a bleeding valve or a bleeding nut. Very, very simple, just to open this valve, let all the air out of your system as soon as water starts coming out. That means the water has replaced the air in the system. You can close it, make sure it's nice and tight, start your pump and off you go. If your pump continuously switches on and switches off, it depends on which type of pump you've got. This is very, very important. A pump with a flow control such as this um, would most likely be a leaking toilet or a leaking pipeline somewhere in your system where water is going out con uh, continuously. That would cause your pump to sense that there's a flow and therefore switch on. Now with a pump like this, which works with a pressure switch instead of a flow switch, this reacts on a loss of pressure. So once again, we're looking at um, a leak somewhere in your system, possibly a leaking toilet. The pressure is dropping in your system, therefore your pump starts, on, starts up to compensate. What's very important to look at when you have a pump such as this that reacts on pressure is you have a pressure vessel. Now at the back you have a cart, well, which is very much similar to a car valve, that has air in it. Now you push this, uh, the valve, if air comes out, everything is fine. If water comes out, it means your bladder on the inside has, has uh, broken. If nothing comes out, the tank has lost its pressure, therefore you have to repressurize it. This will cause your pump to switch on and switch off continuously if there is no more uh, air in your pressure vessel. If your pump motor makes a humming sound but does not actually turn, it would most likely be one of two causes. Firstly, your shaft or impeller is trapped. That could have been caused by some debris that's come into your pump, trapped the impeller and now it doesn't want to turn. The best would be just to open it up, make sure there's no blockages in your impeller or nothing is trapping the impeller. Your second cause and most likely cause is inside you have got something called the capacitor. Now a capacitor gives that extra little bit of zoom to your motor to, to make it go from zero to 2,900 RPM in a matter of a second. Now if that capacitor is faulty, it does not give that extra zing. So therefore your pump will not jump away. It'll make a continuous humming sound, but it will not actually turn. You'll definitely notice uh, the difference in sound when your pump is not turning and when it is turning. If you suspect that the pump is faulty, you can take it back. There is a one year uh, warranty on all Pascali pumps. The chances are that the pump is faulty is, is very unlikely as it is tested in the factory before it leaves. Um, but you can take it back. We do have a, a full, fully equipped workshop uh, that can inspect the pump for you and troubleshoot and find out what the problem is. Pascale has a specially selected range of high quality water pumps designed and developed to provide simple to install water management solutions for in and around the home. The Pascale range is user friendly, carries a one year warranty 
All parts are readily available and so is great service nationwide. Available at leading hardware and agricultural retail stores across South Africa. Thank you.